to our business editor, Simon Jack. It's four minutes past nine. And in a couple of minutes, we will speak to the Queen of Scar, Pauline Black, who is still writing and performing with the selector after 40 years. Yeah, first, let's have a last brief look at the headlines where you are this morning. We'll see you in a sec. Now, for many people, ska music is the sound of urban Britain during the late 70s and early 80s, and Pauline Black was right at the very heart of it. Yeah, she joined the Selector in 1979, and despite a few splits and lineup changes over the years, she's still performing with the band today. We will hear one of her new tracks shortly, but first, let's enjoy a few of the classics. Doreen Lawrence speaking there to our colleague Rita Chakrabarti. And there will be a church service and a number of events to mark Stephen Lawrence Day this Saturday, the 22nd of April. It's coming up to quarter to eight. Thank you for joining us for breakfast this morning on BBC One from BBC News. And John has... And one of the biggest cheers of the night in Liverpool entry, Chvorchi. Yes, what do they actually sound like, though? We know Ukraine won last year. They can't host it. That's why Liverpool's hosting it this, this year. So our... Correspondent in Ukraine, James Waterhouse, has been to see their entry perform, and we should say this report does contain some flashing images. Now, the treasurer of the Scottish National Party, Colin Beattie, who was arrested by police investigating the party's finances, has been released without charge pending further investigation. Yes, the 71-year-old is the second figure in the party to be detained as part of that inquiry. We're joined now by our Scotland correspondent. John Maguire has got a plum job this morning. Mm -hmm. He's on a beach, Fistral Beach, in Newquay for us. A nice little snooze on the sofa after Sunday lunch. <laughs> be prepared for this this weekend. going to have to get used to it. This is the noise we're all going to hear from our phones at precisely 3pm on Sunday afternoon because the government will be testing a new alert system to warn us if our lives are in danger from things like uh, fires or floods or even a terror attack. Yes, technology journalist Will Guy will tell us all about how it works. Fiona Irving has been along for a look. Yeah, they really are, isn't it? And the drones give you that uh, extra sense of, uh, of the scene, don't they? Right, it's coming up to half past seven. Breakfast John Maguire has got a plum job this morning. Mm. He's on a beach, Fistral Beach, in Newquay for us. As back, that'll teach them. That'll teach them. They're not going anywhere <laughs> ever again, those ducklings. That's a happy ending. Good stuff. 19 minutes past seven. Carol's got the weather for us this morning. And those...